Good morning and welcome back to another episode of Help I Bought a Farm for Farming Simulator 22. The last in the series of animal farming videos today, in case you hadn't guessed already, is going to be about horses. We'll cover different types of horses, buildings where we can keep our horses, how to move our horses, how to feed them, and how to care for them. Um, so let's get started. <laughs> So, much like uh, any other animal you want to keep on your farm, you have to have somewhere to to house them. So, in your construction menu, go to Animals, Horses. And what we'll see here is a storage... It's a horse pasture. They store your horses. <laughs> We've got a, a horse pasture here. Holds five horses. And it shows us in the, the bottom corner that they need water. They will eat... Uh, root vegetables such as red beets, parsnips and carrots, sorghum and oats and hay. The horse barn doesn't need water because buildings have plumbing. It will hold eight horses and the same again they eat red beets, carrots, parsnips, hay sorghum or oats and the a large horse barn holding 14 horses again doesn't need water because its buildings have plumbing and horses need oats sorghum hay carrots parsnips and red beets the smaller horse pasture here shows five horses that will store 7,000 litres of feed. The horse barn, for the eight horses, will store 11,500 litres of feed. And the large one will store 20,000 litres of feed. Now it does matter what we feed our horses, but I'll cover that shortly. Your small pasture, there is your trigger point to add your feed. The trigger point to add your water is there, but it's kind of half hidden by my water tanker there. And the trigger point to buy horses. And so, we can even open this gate. <laughs> uh, so the trigger point press R to open the animal dialogue. And we'll see we've got different breeds of horses here. Grey, Pinto, Palomino, Chestnut, Bay, Black, Seal, Brown and Dun. Doesn't matter whatsoever which horse you buy, they're all the same. It says here, horses can be sold for profit. Horses like hay, oats, sorghum, and additionally they require water. They need to be ridden daily to increase their value. Animals that are healthy and older than 22 months can reproduce. So these, again, are just too young. They can't reproduce yet. Their age is zero. If you want to buy a horse, let's, uh, let's add a black one. I just double click it. Select the number of horses that you want to buy. I just want one. And that, and that adds it to the farm. And each horse gets its own name. We've got Cricket, Simba and Applejack. To sell your horses, double click. Select the... Well, you can't alter this because, because they all get individual names. It's not like sheep and cows when you can sell, pick to sell 30. You have to sell these individually. But we'll just keep Applejack and Cricket and Simba for the time being. The medium barn, you can open and close all these doors and the gate somehow. Yeah, there we go. Let's close it again. The uh, trigger point there to buy your horses. Trigger point is inside. I'll open the door again for your feed. Again, don't need water. as it has plumbing. And then we have our large barn trigger point to buy your horses. Come on, open up. Oh, don't escape, close up. And your trigger point for your feed. Again, don't need water because they have plumbing. Horses will create manure um, and all you need to do is add straw to 
and these ones have got plenty. So that's the straw there on the on the ground. Uh, add straw and it'll make manure. And then you use your manure silo found in the store. It should be under silos. Oh, there we are. Or a manure heap, sorry. And as long as you place that near your horse, uh, horses, then the manure will just go in there automatically. You collect the manure. All we need to do is drive our trailer or manure spreader up to the trigger point. And we can choose to fill it up. And then we can either sell that or use it to spray over our fields. Now you can add straw in various different ways. This larger barn over here, I just put the straw bale in the trigger point and it adds it. But we can either use my small tractor, so I'll just, this is this is hay in here at the minute, I'll just take this in to add feed, show you how to add feed first of all. We get to the trigger point, we can dump it in here. Now I use the small tractor and the small trailer for in here. Um, I'll cover more on the feet in just a few minutes. Just want to show you how to add the straw first of all. Just dump that trailer there for now. Now what we have here is this strange looking device, also found in the store, for adding straw. And all you have to do is, you see I've put a straw bale in there already. And I think the idea, what you're supposed to do, is possibly drive inside. Why I use the smaller tractor as well, just so I can fit through those. And once you reach the trigger point, you get the option to add straw. However, we don't need to go to the effort oop, gonna crash of driving this inside the building. That's what we can actually do. Make sure I'm facing the right way. Let's just drive close to the trigger point. Okay, not close enough. And just blast the straw straight through the window. <laughs> Okay, that's enough of that. Right, so let's look at feed. And what you'll see is, let's look at the horses in the large horse barn. So I foolishly got them all the same. I should have got different ones. So in the large horse barn, you'll notice they're all worth $4,000. Now that's $4,000. If you just feed them and don't do anything else with them, $4,000 is the maximum value they'll come to, and that'll take them around about 37 months. But you'll see down the bottom here, this guy here, King, he's worth $5,000, and we'll get to that in just a minute. So you'll see they need a base food, they need hay, and they need root crops. Now your base food can be sorghum or oats, hay is just hay, and your root crops can be either carrots parsnips or red beets. They will eat a lot of hay. Some uh, oats and a little bit of root crops. Now the older the horses get, see at 44 months old, I need to feed these guys every two months. But the younger ones eat less, so it can be three or four months before you have to feed them. But just bear that in mind. If you stop feeding them, they're going to lose value as well because their health will deteriorate and what I like to do is so if you see there, if you see there it holds 20,000 litres of food now what I like to do is add the hay first because they eat mostly hay 
and it only makes up 30% of the 38% of their effectiveness. The base food bring uh, is 57% effective, and the root crops is 5%. This totals 100% effectiveness, which um, affects the health. So I'll add the hay first, and I like to use this trailer here, because this trailer in the store holds 8,000 litres. I think it's 8,000 litres. Yeah, 8,000 litres. So I'll get 8,000 litres of hay, and then I'll add 8,000 litres of the base food, so that'll be sorghum or oats, and then I'll use the remainder for the root crops. In addition to ensuring your animals are fed, we have to care for them. And what we need to do is look after their cleanliness. But what I'll do, I'll grab a random horse. You see here, the king is more valuable than the others. And that's because he's cleaner and healthier. And to keep them clean and healthy, we need to brush them. These are actually all pretty clean. Um, Let's ride Ishtar. So you press E, we can ride Ishtar. If you press W, it'll start walking. Press it again, we'll go to a trot. And press it again, uh, go backwards. S key goes backwards, by the way. W will stop. So what I can do, turn around. Since the gate's open, we'll go through the gate. I was going to jump the fence, but it's getting... Very difficult. So W to walk, W again you'll start trotting, W again for a canter. It, what you'll notice there is just at the bottom, below the controls, see ridings at 10%, 11%. So let's get it back up to a canter. And we have to get that up to 100%. Base bar to jump. We can. We don't need to go through the gates. We can jump over the fences. Oh! Faster you go, the harder it is to turn. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Keep riding. Oh, there I'm crashing through the corn. The turning circle is really, really wide. I'm breeding race horses here. Look at this. Yeehaw. It doesn't take really long to get them leveled, uh, to leveled up to um, increase that that riding, that, that fitness. Get out, get some exercise. They're seventy three percent already. Just go around the field a few times. Uh, 84%, now uh, 86, good. By the time I get back, that should be 100%. And you might notice the other horse there, just in the white part of his, his cheeks, his hind legs, is um, getting dirty. So you also have to look after the cleanliness. They'll get, they'll get dirty over time, even if you don't take them out for a ride. There we are, 100%. They take them back into the barn. As this horse is now super fit, you can jump the fence and then S to slow down, keep tapping it until he actually stops. E to get off, and now we need to find this horse because we need to clean him. That's it, there, the most dirty one. You just walk up to it, and all you do is click the left mouse button until he's all clean. Now, who was that? That was uh, Ishtar. You'll see at the minute Ishtar. He's been daily riding it, but his fitness level is still at zero percent. Uh, King's doing great because I've been riding him. He's his value's up at five thousand dollars. Poncho, you can see I've not ridden Poncho today. His fitness is low. Well, let's go and just jump forward till January. They do have enough food, don't they? Yeah. 
Oh, right, now in January, and if we take a look at Ishtar, his value has now came up to $4,250. So, yeah, I did right, King, yesterday, so his value has gone unchanged. $5,000 is the maximum that any horse will achieve for its value. Uh, if we look at Poncho here, if you don't ride them, the maximum value they'll reach is $4,000 and that'll take them, as I said before, 37 months. They will increase in value if you ride them and clean them every day, but if you don't ride them and clean them every day, then it'll take 37 months to get to $4,000. Uh, animal transport. You you do have the option of, like, if you want to ride your horse, like, if you want to move it into a different barn. So they're, they're going to breed eventually, and let's say I've got 16 horses in here, and they're ready to reproduce, however, there's no space for them. So if I want to um, move some horses out of here to allow room for the the new foals. I can't ride, this is Gulliver, I can ride Gulliver and I can take him around to another barn. Just jump the fence. And if I get off him, that'll leave Gulliver in here. I don't want Gulliver in here. Put Gulliver back in here with his buddies. There we go. Alternatively, we've got some bovine transport here. You've got that smaller trailer and the larger one. The smaller one can be towed by a tractor, and the larger one here has to be towed by that truck, and they can be found in the store. And it's under animal transport. So there's the one I've got attached to the tractor. You can rent it, uh, lease it, or buy it. And that's the one there that I've got attached to the truck. So let's use the one in the truck. And order to move them, all we need to do is be able to drive up to the trigger point. And we get the option there if you press R to open the animal dialogue. And I can take Blaze and move them to the trailer and then you just do the reverse when you want to move them into another barn. So I've got a little experiment running here um, and I'm feeding these horses different things. This barn here I think are on the base food. These are on root crop. Let's have a look at them because Put the names of what I'm feeding them in the uh, in the title or the other name of the barn. So okay, this barn here is getting hay, only hay, no other food but hay. Oats, no other food but oats. Carrots, no other food but carrots. And these guys are getting uh, no food at all. We'll take a look at the value of these. Um, so what was his name again? Is it Malcolm? Yeah, Malcolm's on hay. He's two months old. I didn't bother riding him or cleaning him. And you'll see his value is $196. The Spartan on oats. $196. Poor health. Fitness and cleanliness is low. I didn't bother riding them either. Uh, and then we have Lady who's on carrots. Again, poor health. $196. Two months old. And Blaze, no food at all. Poor health. $196. So you can see it, if even if you feed your horses one of these 
types of food that they need, the value is not really going to increase by much. Even no food at all, the value is still low. So they do need a good mix of feed. And proof is in the pudding that they do need ridden daily. The cleaning doesn't really matter, but if you're light caring for horses, then you might as well clean them. I think that just about covers everything I need to cover today. Uh, I've got my hay barn here, uh, hay and straw, which I keep in there to feed the horses. Uh, this over, this is where I'll keep my oats and my sorghum. Uh, and this here is a mod, and I'll keep my root vegetables in there, my carrots, my parsley, my parsnips, sorry, and my uh, my red beets. And then it's just a case of bringing one of the trailers round, filling it up, and, and going to the uh, trigger point to feed the horses. Hopefully I've covered everything I intended to cover today guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying this long if you're still here. And until next time, goodbye for now.